Three, square back. Mike falling down my belly. Awesome. I gotta swap out mics. I'll be back. Uh, it's already going terrible. You'll find out why in a second. guys welcome back to the channel yep 68 type 3 square back it's it is back it is back in the shop um this video might be a little bit differently because i already know one of the problems and i fixed it already uh also the reason i say this and the footage might be weird or why i know things right now because i'm cutting the intro after the fact i didn't have power for going on three days so uh I did record the, what I was doing, the processes, so on and so forth, except uh, backup generator. Background noise, absolutely horrible. Um, I might put some in if, it's, if I can clean it up a bit. But um, what happened was, story time, sit down a bit. Owner picked up the car, uh, ran great, uh, said he was driving, got home or something like that, went to go start a car, wouldn't start again. So key wasn't keying. I made a comment I know on the last video when I had to start it with the key, you know, the sun and the asparagus have to be like aligned correctly and then it will work. Um, so the tumbler is just that worn where it doesn't make, uh, it doesn't let it engage the switch correctly. So with that said, he had a new switch. I threw it in there and well, it worked for the first two times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's more issues. There was more issues. The, uh, the other issue was um, it's sending low voltage from the switch itself, probably corroded terminals, bad ground, so on and so forth. But it's sending like nine volts to the back of the car, sometimes 11, you know, depending. Because he said he could start it off with a jump pack, which means you're boosting the power. And, well, you could send more bad signal back. So jump the solenoid in the uh, starter or, you know, starter relay, starter solenoid, what have you. So what I ended up doing was after the key switch got fixed, um, crawled under and I put in a uh, water, uh, I think it's a 20 amp relay, basically water pack 20 amp relay. Uh, I, might, I might do a, a tour and uh, jack the car up and bring you under there and show you because I didn't even record that. But now there's a jumper relay. So uh, I think a relay only needs like four volts to click it over um, to send signal. So that switch will hopefully never fall below that. Um, and it'll always trick or you know, trick, trip the relay. So now it fires up quite well. Anywho, so it starts, runs, short drives, that's fine. Um, it didn't drive before. Right now, my favorite also has a charging issue. Gonna find out or gonna test the generator right now, the gen set, see if it actually uh, generates or is polar po polar polarized um basically see if it's still a motor if it's still a motor i know it's down down or the line i know we replaced the uh, voltage regulator and he said the problem got worse and i agree because the gen light's on now and the car is only charging at like 11 well charging 11 8 ish so it's not really charging it's not charging is what i'm getting at so let me get a light set up or whatever I'll pop this belt off, polarize this generator, see if it turns into a motor. Um, if it does that, I'd say the generator is okay or okay enough, um, depending on the, you know, whip it speed. And uh, yeah, we'll move on to checking out the voltage regulator. Uh, so nice not hearing the clicky clacks of the generator. All right, first step is popping the, obviously the belt off of this thing. Uh, it's a, whatever, 21, I think. I think they're bigger. Yes. And they come off and loosen like a, uh, you know, normal Volkswagen split pulley, so on and so forth. The fun part about them is, well...
they're in a tin shroud. Here, I'll bring you. I'll bring you in. Yeah, they're in. They're in this shroud. So you know, drop dropping things is always fun. Oh shit! Spacer thing. Where's the magnet? I don't know. Why would I know where anything is? Grab the shims. Holy shims. How many do you have? Ten? Oh, okay. Nope. Oh, I had eleven. Well, you got all the shim packs. All right. That's, that's good enough. I just have the belt loose. I don't, eh, I don't feel like forcing this thing out. If it spins, it's not going to be a, 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 a huge issue. Disconnect the, uh, the big power and the uh, fielding wire. Just get them off to the side. Let me, uh, I'm going to get some uh, plugs and a backup battery and spool this thing up oh see and well see what it does plan i'll be right back all right guys got my jumper harness here to polarize this thing uh negative so whatever you decide to be negative goes on the fielding coil or fielding side which would be you know go to the light little wire um also grounded to the case some people say you have to, some people say you don't. I usually do. And then ground to ground. Come on. Positive, just get a wire. Well, obviously. And um, don't arc it. There you go. And positive go to you know D plus terminal, which would be the other one, and the motor should it should turn into a motor. And it does. So it's really weak, like really weak. Usually you can pull off the uh, ground also. Now don't hold me to this, some, some things are different. But you can pull the, the secondary ground off and it should still spin. But yeah, this thing sounds super weak. Nothing. So nothing if you just take the ground off. Um, well, the case ground. So, let me see if I got another. Do I have another one laying around? Give me a second. All right, I was rummaging around. I was trying to find that spare generator I had, or I thought I had from uh, the Gia that ate its nose cone, but I don't know where it is. Might have used it as a core, but I have its old one, so I, I don't, I don't, not sure. Anyways, I'm gonna button this thing back up together and fire, fire it up. Um, maybe polarizing it helped it. I, I don't. I don't know. So I'm going on the gens bad, just on the quick electrical test. Order a new one. If it's wrong, well, guess what? I'm gonna eat the cost like always. But um, yeah, let me, get, uh, let me get this whole button up. I'll turn on the key or turn the key and uh, see, see, see if anything magical happens. Be right back. Now that I'm hot, sweaty, and stinky, Wrestled that belt on. I forgot how much of a painted butt type three belts were, to be honest with you. They're they're not not really uh inducive or conducive to uh 
fat American hands. Anywho, let me turn this off or turn this on and see if uh, for some reason it wants to start charging. I don't know. Um, I do have another gen on order. So may maybe, but let's crank it off. to figure itself out. A little more cranking than I wanted, but uh, I was just leaning in the car, so. That's where that's at. Yeah, red light's still on. that wine picks up in my mic but all right let me shut this off i don't know if that wine picked up in my mic but there is a high pitch like and i don't know it sounds like a supercharger so that's good um i know i made a comment when i got this thing running last time uh sounds like it has another air leak i can't find an air leak i don't think one showed up i'll I'll recheck, but uh, I think what I was hearing the whole time was that Jen going kaput, kaputs, whatever, breaking. Um, but all right, so diagnostical charging. We're going on. We're going on generator. Get a new one on order. Like I said, it's already on order, and we'll slap it in. But let me get a, a recap of what the what the heck just happened here. Be right back. Focus. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this episode up. Um, yeah, it's kind of a short one. I just got finished editing it, editing, editing it. Was going to, you know, put the clips of fixing the starting issue uh, in it. Audio is terrible. I mean, just terrible. The picture is good, but audio, nope, not so much. But anywho, um, so I, I guess what I'm getting at is, yeah, this is a quick diagnostic video on why why this thing isn't charging but it does start so that's good um like i said i got a generator on order once that comes in hopefully later this week because special order for a type three uh we'll shove this in and get this thing back on the road hopefully that jen fixes it but with that said like i said it's one of my shorter videos i just want to get something out after losing a week between temperature overheating cameras overheating myself and no power for you know three days so short video hope you liked it uh if you did like share subscribe leave a comment if you do promise you we will chit chat as always thanks for watching have a great day and hopefully see you on the next one